Boing, boing, boing. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's almost Valentine's Day, the day of love. And I know all of your little ones have parties to attend and fun to be had and all that jazz. Well, today we are going to make her a super sweet Valentine's Day bow to wear to the party. It's super fun and guess what? We're only using two supplies. And you know what? They're not your average bow making supplies. So stay tuned, we are going to get busy right now. You will need pipe cleaners, duct tape, a pencil or a wooden dowel, and you will also need a hair clip. Okay, I'm gonna be working with this French barrette. It's the one that pops open like that, and it comes with this clasp in the middle. I went ahead and removed the clasp until we get our bow complete, and I also lined the top with a little um, pink 3 8 inch ribbon. However, I did leave the bottom bare. I just did not want the silver showing on the top. All right, the pencil. You're probably wondering what the heck is the pencil for? All right, the pencil is going to be used to make these cute little corker pipe cleaners. We're going to be actually using it as like a curling wand, so to speak. We're going to take the um, pipe cleaner and we're going to wrap it around like a spiral shape, just like you would if you were making um, corker ribbon, and just go all the way to the top like this. And you can push it down a little bit, and then you can pull it off, and then you have this cute little springy type pipe cleaner. But yeah, that's what the pencil is for. I'm also working with this duct tape that I got at Dollar Tree and I'm pleasantly surprised that there is so much left on this and I've actually used it for quite a few different crafty projects so yeah that was a that was a good dollar deal um, and the pipe cleaners I also got from Dollar Tree I believe there were 50 in this pack and they were in red white and pink perfect Valentine's Day colors but this is going to be a super cute little bow for the girlies to wear maybe to their Valentine's Day party. It's just something fun and funky and yeah, but that's what we're going to do today. All right, and I've already let you know that we're going to use these pipe cleaners to make this corker type um, part for the bow. Now for the second part of the bow, we're going to take a pipe cleaner and we're going to wrap some duct tape around the pipe cleaner and we're going to make another corker type piece. I'll show you how to do that right now. All right, so I'm just gonna take a piece of the um, duct tape, get those out of the way, and I'm going to um, just lay my uh, pipe cleaner on top. However, I'm gonna leave like an inch or two outside of the duct tape because this is the part that we are going to wrap around the barrette. So you need this without duct tape. So just about two inches. The rest we are going to um, wrap with the duct tape. Let me show you. We're just going to wrap it up. Just roll the duct tape on and I just roll it like twice where it's good and secure and it doesn't have to be perfect because we are going to curl it. All right and I'm just going to trim that excess right there off and I'm going to save it for another pipe cleaner piece. This is our pipe cleaner rolled in duct tape. Now I'm just going to trim up the end and make it completely straight. All right, and see we have this excess right here. We're gonna come over and we're gonna wrap the excess part, the pipe cleaner part, around the bottom of our bow. We're gonna wrap it all the way around the barrette, but you wanna be tight. Do it tight, see? Just 
all the way around and secure it. See, oops. And there it should be all the way around and then your pipe cleaner is on the top. All right, now what you're gonna do with your duct tape pipe cleaner is we're gonna take our pencil and we're gonna start at the bottom and we're going to curl it. And remember, we're just gonna wrap it around the pencil in a spiral shape. And it's going to curl because there's a wire in the pipe cleaner. Of course, you knew that. <laughs> All right, so just curl that ribbon and then you wanna take it, just give it a twist to make it tight and then pull the pencil off. And we have our first little corker piece made of duct tape. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna alternate between duct tape piece and regular pipe cleaner. So just like the, uh-oh, just like the duct tape piece, I'm gonna come at the um, bottom of my barrette here and I'm gonna wrap just a couple of inches around so it's nice and secure. You also want to make sure that you are really close to that uh, that last piece. You want them really close to each other tight. All right, and once it's secure, then I can curl this piece with the pencil. Give it a curl. And I'm gonna keep doing that until I am completely covered on the barrette. Alright, but that's it. Super simple. And um, I had a small barrette, so here is where I stopped. But if you have a larger barrette, you can keep adding the pieces until it is full or how you want it to look. Um, but it was super simple. And then after you get finished adding all your pieces, you can go ahead and add your clasp back in. And um, yeah, now you're ready to wear it.